everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another vlog. Uh, exciting one for Dad and I today. Uh, the boat is looking a little bit emptier than usual and we've got something pretty exciting in the boat. So we've got um, taken off the old electric motor behind me there and we're gonna go to Streaker Marine this morning and drop off uh, the boat, the 60 inch Lowrance Ghost trolling motor. Two lithium batteries, a uh, 12 in a uh, 16 inch HDS Live for the front, uh, an active target module, and a GFAB active target pole. So, very exciting day. Um, I've got the little one with me today, so she's gonna jump in the car with us, and we're gonna head over to Streaker Marine, check out some of the boats that they've got there, and then have a chat to the boys about the install and where we want things to sit. Uh, from a functionality and a usability perspective and then yeah, we'll come back to you guys We'll have a chat and then the second portion of this is when we go back and pick up the boat with everything installed So very excited uh, Stay tuned Alrighty everyone, we're back at Streaker Marine. Apologies in the last part of the video I didn't get a chance to do a bit of a run through as we got here super hot and also had the toddler with me that day So uh, the boat's all done there it is, we've got the Ghost, the 16, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm gonna quickly jump in the boat, give you guys a quick run through, and then we'll, we'll get going, get out of their way. Um, I'm just taking up a bit of room this morning, but I've just done the kind of handover, pick the boat up, and I'm taking it back to Dad's place. And then we're gonna get out on the water in a couple of days time, just to run through everything, make sure everything's set up the way that Dad and I like it set up. And uh, we'll also film that little session as well, and give you guys a more in-depth look at what we had uh, added and upgraded on the boat but we'll quickly jump in have a quick look around and then uh, we'll get on the water in a couple of days time so starting at the back of the boat i had a soulless 14 pitch three blade prop stainless prop um, sent down so that was installed to hopefully get dad a little bit more top end speed as he was revving out on the aluminium stock prop down at the console, not much has changed other than the addition of an active target switch. So Damo here at Streaker Marine uh, did the whole installation. Fantastic attention de to detail and quality, but yeah, the 12 inch HDS Live remains as is. Um, and the only addition was that switch to isolate the module if we need it. So looking over at the right hand side, we've got the GFAB pole that you guys would have seen on my kayak install with the active target transducer. Now we've got the big girl up here. This is a HDS Live 16 on a size D ram mount. And I think it's a six or an eight or a 10 inch arm, just to give us a little bit more height. Uh, over on the left, we've got the Lowrance Ghost. Uh, this is the 60 inch shaft. And uh, foot pedal. So this is a, got a bit of a shadow there, so apologies. Um, this is a, essentially a hard-wired foot pedal, so this is the best positioning for it for us for this particular boat and deck layout. So we didn't want to lose a front hatch to having it recessed, as that's also where our lithium batteries are. So we've got the two batteries for the sounder, the 75 amp hour 12 volt and the 75 amp hour 24 volt dedicated to the Ghost. And the active target module is mounted neatly away in this front hatch as well. So that's all now networked, connected up. Um, you know, the ghost is talking to the sounder. Both sounders are talking to one another. And uh, we've got those new lithiums as well. So really uh, no excuse now. We've got all the, all the gizmos and gadgets and toys there to, uh, you know, find all the fish. And it's just our job to catch them, but uh, I think Dad will be happy with that setup. I've also got the, the compass there, the point one heading sensor um, from the Ghost, just to give us the most accurate positioning when you're spot locked, as well as when you are, you know, searching for a waypoint or something like that. So that's it. Quick little run through of what we've done. I'll go through it in more detail with yourselves and Dad in a couple of days' time. Cheers. Good morning, everyone. Out here with Dad this morning, as promised. Here we are on Patterson Lakes. It's a couple of days after I picked up the boat from Streaker Marine and we're just making sure we've got everything dialed in. Got the uh, big screen here. Uh, got the Lowrance Ghost, GFAB pole and the active target. So 
Um, yeah, it's been been a fun little morning so far. We just got the one fish um, that Dad just got on a mu little mussel. So we'll show that footage shortly. So yeah, just, just having a bit of a play today, making sure everything works as expected for Dad before his comp and uh, getting familiar and uh, I guess setting up everything to make sure that it's optimal as can be in terms of settings and uh, like physical positioning of that transducer and pole uh, for various conditions, whether it's structure, flats, slightly deeper water, etc., etc. But uh, yeah, we'll keep fishing and then we'll give you more of an in-depth rundown of how everything's set up and connected. Um, and also just a quick note, we headed out onto the bay this morning really quickly. It's a little bit choppy, but got to test that new soulless stainless prop. Um, so we've just got the 14 pitch and in terms of speed, definitely picked up a couple of kilometers and because of the choppy conditions out there, didn't get a chance to kind of max out the revs or the trim. So I'm confident there's probably another five or six Ks in it. So it uh, feels like a good improvement so far, but we haven't got all the weight that we normally would in, in a tournament kind of situation in the boat today. But um, in about a week's time, dad will get a chance to test it out properly. All right, let's keep fishing. Yeah, yeah. On? Oh yeah, oh, on the mus. Yeah, I dropped it and I realized <laughs> that it stopped. <laughs> hey. Nice. Okay. <laughs> no. There you go. Alright, so Dad's just got our first little one. We're out here this morning uh, using the uh, new Lawrence Ghost, using Active Target make sure everything's working properly before dad's competition. And I've uh, just got a couple of Dowley's muscles. This is the ultra light, I think, now dad. So yeah, we've just got the whole setup here. Got the pole, got the new ghost. I'm just practicing, practicing, practicing. Uh, I'll see if we can... Just got a spot locked in here, turn that off. Having that ability to look under pontoons is uh, pretty cool. Nice little fish, nothing too big, but uh, yeah. good little start anyway. For a day when we're supposed to be just practicing a little. But electric's good. I'm very happy with, um, it's got nice and quiet and been easy to use so far. And the spot lock. And the spot lock. <laughs> and spot lock. Yeah, they come. It's like three or four coming out. Come on. Ah, oh, too high up. It's just so light, this thing I often forget. Yeah. Oh, Dad's on. <laughs> there it comes. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Nice. Big head shakes. Zzz. See the uh, fish coming up. On sonar into the net. <coughs> Comes. There it is. Nice. Yeah. Nice one. Okay. Number two for the morning. Yeah. Both are hooked with both trebles. Oh, yeah. I've seen that a lot yep. in some of Dowley's both photos. Trebles. Yeah. So they're absolutely they're just banging Slightly these Slightly better muscles. fish than the first one. Yeah. Very nice, good one, Dad. But uh, yeah, very happy with the setup so far. Yep. As we said, looks like a lot up, a lot going on up on the front. But uh, I can now see why people say these things are invaluable, in terms of even, you know, kind of noticing fish behaviour. And um, one thing we noticed, especially with my lure, was that a lot of the fish are following it out and hitting it like halfway out, whereas 
traditionally or typically they'd only hit it as it sinks down under the pontoon they generally don't come out but watching them on the sounder has allowed us to see the behavior of how these fish are reacting to my little uh, smith crystal alive so uh, yeah pretty cool technology Go for it. it's just a bit hard with shadows today oh. <laughs> oh, is he out? Yeah, I'm on. Oh, <laughs> little one. <laughs> oh no, he's all right. Better one. He screamed out with it. It was, a, it was a very good cast. I think I just missed it on the um, on the camera. <clears throat> Oops. Transducer. More stuff in the way now. <laughs> Another little nice legal. Morning. Paws on. Oh, no, no. Uh, Yes. Good fish. Yeah. All right, there's number three for the morning uh, on a little Smith Crystal Alive out from under the pontoons, just continuing to have a play. We're uh, spot locked, so we can just sit here now and do this without getting blown around like we used to previously. But everything's going well. A few more things to set up. Make sure we've got the remote paired up for Dad for the go, so he can have that around his neck and and throw the uh, you know quick spot lock anchor button when he needs to. But I'll let this guy go. I'll just put the lure back in for a couple of photos. But uh, orange crystal alive. I think this is colour number nine for those playing at home. But yeah, I'll let this one go and uh, keep having a play. All right, here we go. We'll uh, time to do a quick kind of walkthrough for everyone, as promised. So. Uh, starting back at the console, we've got the 12 inch HDS Live, uh, that hasn't changed. So the only addition that's been made is the uh, active target on or off switch. So that just allows us to turn the module box on and off. And the module box is located in the front hatch there. Thank you, Dad. So we've got the active target module box. And the reason why we've got that switch is uh, if you're traveling or if you're trying to do other things, you don't want to fry out the module box or the active target transducer. And up the front, we've got the GFAB pole moving along. Had to restart that. I uh, got a bit carried away. So as you can see, the pole's on a bit of an angle away from the boat and that's to get you know, a good angle up on the transducer so that it's shooting out at these pontoons and gets us best, I guess, range and best definition and clarity from a from a fair distance away. So that's the reason why we've got the pole on an angle. And that's also one of the benefits of not running it on your electric motor, where a lot of people do have them, uh, as that's a, I guess, a, a fixed angle kind of position, and probably a lot better for those forward modes as opposed to scout when you're searching in the shallower waters. Um, in terms of uh, moving along again, I guess, We've got the HDS 16 live up the front. So that's now sitting on a size D ram bracket. Uh, really cleanly installed little clamshell to keep some of that water out. Uh, the anchor well remains as is. And we removed the old, or Damo from Streaker Marine, removed the old 54 pound Minn Kota electric motor, or 55 rather. Uh, 12 volt setup over to the Lorance Ghost in the same stock kind of position and we've got the foot pedal coming out of that front well again just nice and neat nice and clean uh, big foot pedal on these it would have been great to have a recessed foot well uh, for it to sit nice and flush or relatively flush with the uh, floor just for better kind of positioning when you're standing up when you're using it but uh, we've got a front hatch there which we can't really lose and so uh, for now that's the position of the foot pedal but yeah so far so good we haven't used it in really rough conditions just yet so uh, time will tell there but 
from a usability perspective, it's very much like my old Fortrex foot pedal. You push forward and that turns to the right. You lean and rock back with your foot and that turns to the left and around. You've got some hot keys on the sides, which we'll program at a later time, as well as the key anchor or spot lock button. And that just holds you in position when that spot lock button is engaged. Now we'll go under the front hatch. Thank you, Dad. We've got the two FPV power lithium batteries. So the 12 volt, 75 amp hour is powering the 16 and the active target. And the 24 volt, 75 amp hour FPV lithium is dedicated for the ghost trolling motor. Now down the back, Dad, how big is the battery that we've got for cranking and HDS 12? We'll quickly just run through that as well for everyone while we're here. Oh, Dad's got it uh, in a little battery box. Apologies. What have we got? May not see. Cold cranking amp 780, uh, 12 volt, 100 amp hour. So it's 100 amp hour. Uh, so cold crank, cranking original cranking battery, so it is 780 cold cranking amps, and that powers the 12, uh, that powers the lights, the live well, the bilge pumps, but up the front those two batteries really control everything that's happening there on the boat. Uh, for those that haven't seen the boat before, it is set up for tournament fishing, so these, Dad's got some VT2 live well vents as well, so they're ventilation, well, uh, ventilation vents from new pro products and they sit there just like that and so that's just a exchange of gases that uh, I guess happens naturally without you having to do anything and what we found on previous boats is that allows for you know fish to be happier and healthier at the end of the day especially in tournament situations in hot weather or uh, you know when there when there's not a lot of oxygen and water in those kind of conditions these vents really do help um, so our Renegade is set up with a big live well at the front with a divider, aeration system, research system, and a timer on the console here as well from, from Flowrite. So that's there, and then one of the switches there is for filling. And uh, that's about it, I think, in terms of, you know, the Renegade, the walkthrough. As I mentioned before, the install is super clean. Uh, attention to detail is fantastic. Yeah, Dad's just pointing out a couple of the rod holders that we use. We've probably got storage for three, five, seven, and 13. So there's about 13 rod holders. Um, and in, in tournaments, you will see them all being used on our boat, and then maybe some more as well. But, uh, you know, that's kind of the one of the, not drawbacks, or one of the compromises of a hull such as this. It rides really well in the choppy water, allows me to go offshore, allows us to do tournaments, but it's never going to be as uh, ergonomic or uh, have as much storage as something like an American bass boat. But anyway, that's it for today's kind of rundown walkthrough of the Renegade. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The one thing that I didn't get an opportunity to do and show you guys today is do the software update. So I changed bags at the last minute yesterday afternoon and the software update chip is sitting at home. So we'll do that after we get off the water. And then next time I get out on this boat, I'll show you guys what Ghost 360 looks like, but it's a free software update that you know uses the Ghost trolling motor and the three-in-one active imaging nose cone and allows the trolling motor to scan and create a 360 image on the screen um, up the front here. So that's gonna be a, a cool little feature for times that you're just drifting around and you wanna see where the schools are, but you can't use that feature uh, at the same time as you're using something like a spot lock. So that's just something to be mindful of, but otherwise really happy with the setup. I think this is all good to go for Dad's ABT tournament coming up in about a week's time. And uh, hopefully he comes home with a dub. All right, guys. Oh, that one might have gone. Get him out, get him out, pull, 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 pull. All right, he's out. That's a big one. <laughs> no, it might be foul hooked. Just back the drag off now. Back it off, back it off. <laughs> it's 
all right. You've got to do a long hold. Oh, pull, 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 pull. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Slammed it. Solid. Yeah. Just making a quick move, heading back towards the ramp and just trying out one of the other canal systems. And uh, Dad's banked another good one, probably the best fish for the day. And again, both hooks in. They just absolutely smack that little muscle. So, yeah, nice fish, Dad. Well, uh, well angled. Got him out. And uh, we'll let this one get the hooks out and we'll let him nice. go. Nice one.